People wander around in shock as the emergency services dampen down any remaining flames. The two blasts went off during the morning rush hour, causing maximum casualties. The bus park on the outskirts of the capital was packed with commuters. Some of the pictures are so graphic we have decided to partially obscure them. While people were trying to get to work this morning, I spotted a guy holding a bag and he went onto the bus. After a few minutes he stepped off, probably about five minutes later. Then there was a huge explosion and before you knew it, people were dead. Immediately after it happened, we ran away for our lives. When we came back, I saw no less than 30 people lying here. They'd already taken 15 people to the hospital. It's not known who was responsible for this attack at the moment, but suspicion is bound to fall on the Islamist militant group known as Boko Haram. It has carried out numerous atrocities because it says it wants to establish an Islamic state in northern Nigeria. If today's attack is the work of militants, it signifies yet another setback for the government. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.